I got some questions from subscribers regarding my video on MMA fighters trying out women's self-defense techniques where we tried out these techniques taught uh, that actually made the situation worse, much worse against any level of resistance. And I was asked, can we please show what would be better to do in those situations? So first, we're going to address probably the most dynamic and difficult to address of these, which is the open guard or the butterfly guard, as shown in this, uh, this video clip right here, where the girl simply pushes and uh, the man falls over and lets go effortlessly, which simply doesn't happen in real life with any level of resistance. Now, the butterfly guard is a super dynamic position. Jiu-Jitsu in general is a dynamic position. And so to give you a, a four or five minute video uh, explaining the whole thing is impossible. You're not going to learn how to fight over the internet. So this is basically a review of some of the basics. A few days ago, we made a video um, where we tried out some self-defense techniques and they all failed miserably under mild resistance. So I'm going to show you a few better options today. So in the video, what was shown was this position and attempting to push out this way. And you'll notice the problem with that, I've given up my back and I've given up a very easy guard pass. What that means is he's easily able to put himself in a better position where he can do a lot of damage. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with jujitsu, go take a jujitsu class first of all and you'll learn to, to work this position. This is what's called butterfly guard, okay? Now, in, in any form of guard, we have three imperatives. Stand up, sweep, and submit. The stand up, that's, that's the easy part. You know, he's putting some pressure on me, right? So, I get back up on my feet. There's nothing behind me, nothing stopping me from getting up. Now, if he does put some pressure and weight on me, right? Now, it becomes a little more, bit more of a fight. He's got my wrists, so... Get those feet behind you, right? He's controlling the wrists, not the feet. All right, the second imperative, sweep. That's any, any technique that takes you from the bottom to the top. Now, you're not gonna learn how to fight over the internet, but I'm gonna show you a few sweeps right here. If I can pummel for an underhook, right? He's got my wrists right there. So I'm going to swing these to the inside. Latch my body onto him. No, don't try to move the other guy, move yourself around him, right? And if he won't let go here, great, because he's taking his post out. Now I can sweep, get on top, and oh, finish a fight from there. Here, I'll show that one more time from a different angle. So if I have these feet right here, move myself in, and notice, yeah, I turn my body into a ball. Now I'm not going to spend a great deal of time breaking that down. You can look it up, butterfly sweep or elevator sweep. Okay, find some videos that give you that in a great... Uh, a lot of uh, detail, but my overall advice, again, take a jiu-jitsu class and learn everything you can about the guard. Spend a lot of time drilling this position against resistance. So if Nils is resisting me, if he's driving into me, if he's trying to keep me on the floor, now, another great option is an arm drag. So I can take his back, strangle him. You can do that with one arm or two. If uh, you want to learn that one arm variation, look up uh, Neil Melanson, um, details on the rear naked choke, to do with one arm or two. Um, what else? And the third option is submission. If I'm not able to stand up, maybe he's putting a lot of pressure on me. Maybe he abandons this wrist hold and just starts grabbing me from the top, right? Uh, body to body, right? So now there's not a lot of space right here. I can start working for a submission. That is a technique that allows me to threaten him with either uh, unconsciousness via strangulation or breaking one of his limbs. Okay, and of course the fourth imperative is uh, striking. So right here, he's got my wrists. He does not control my elbows. He does not control my shoulders. Now I'm probably not gonna finish a fight with striking from right here, but what I will do is solicit a reaction from him. So if I hit him, he's gonna move, right? And when he starts moving, that gives me space I need to either stand up, sweep, or submit. So remember those three things, the, the three S's of guard, or the four, if you will. Stand up, sweep, submit, and strike to create space to 
get out of there. Okay?